हेलो एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर सुशांत अग्रवाल आई डिड माई अंडर ग्रेजुएशन फ्रॉम मौलाना आजाद मेडिकल कॉलेज एंड दिस वॉज माई फर्स्ट अटैम्प्ट इन आई एन आई सी टी एग्जाम एंड नीट पी जी एग्जाम आई गॉट अ रैंक एट इन आई एन आई सी टी एग्जाम एंड रैंक नाइन इन नीट पी जी एग्जाम इन मे ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू इन टेंथ क्लास आई वॉज फेस विदर टू पिक मैथ्स और बायो एवरी वन टोल्ड मी दैट यू कुड डू वन थिंग यू कुडन डू बोथ बट आई वॉज I liked challenges so I took both I took PCMB in uh, 11th and 12th and uh, my interest sort of grew towards biology more than maths in those two years so I decided that I will uh, write the neat UG exam and I fared well and uh, I took up MBBS in 2016 and I got Maulana Azad Medical College I got I even got rank 4 in Jipmer UG exam because I lived in New Delhi only I chose to come to MAMC instead of going to Jipmer Our MBBS course started a bit late because of delays in the 2016 NEET exam so uh, our first year was a bit uh, little bit tough I realized the importance of college life making friends hanging out going out here and there and I really enjoyed it in the especially in the third semester when you get a lot of time to yourself and for other uh activities because of the delay of the neat 2016 ug exam our first year got a little bit delayed we got about 8 to 9 months to complete our first year exam so the uh, uh, first year professional exams that was a little bit hectic we got time to ourselves in from the third semester and that is when i really started enjoying the college life uh, going to festi- uh, college festivals hanging out with friends going out regularly and my friends were ext- uh, extremely supportive in all the extra curricular activities that i enjoyed doing from the third year i joined dbmci from second year we started getting clinical exposure how to deal with patients how to make a diagnosis how to go about their treatment and i really enjoyed all that stuff and i knew that i was not satisfied with just observing that from a distance i wanted to get up close and be actively involved in the patient care so i started working towards the goal to one day be an integral part of that team i joined dbmci in the third year and that really propelled my preparation for the for these competitive exams i got to know which areas to study which areas could be relatively neglected for these exams which are the high yield zones and i did my primary note preparation during the third year and the final year i dedicated my internship to uh, the revision of the notes that i had made and focused on tnd and the gts and was consistent in my preparation because that is what i had got to know from my seniors that consistency is the key in these sort of exams and that is what has helped me in getting these single digit ranks in these two exams during the 2020 covid lockdown the preparation got a bit of a back seat there were lot of uncertainties involved but one thing i knew for sure that whether it be neat or next or aims or inict the questions will going to remain the same the topics will will be the same and whether i do my preparation now or a few months later i have to do it anyways so pmci helped me in this aspect by continuously motivating me that no matter the hurdles we are facing everyone is in the same boat and i just have to continue with my preparation in internship I started to get exposure to what it feels like to be an integral part of the patient management team what what it feels like to step out of a student's shoes be an actual doctor involved in management of patients in the hospital and i learned how to manage my time between the time spent in hospital and the time spent studying and uh, again time management is the key that i had learned from many seniors who had cracked these exams before me and i just walked in their shoes and i uh, i knew that people had done this before me and i just needed to be consistent with my preparation i started my dbmci journey in the third year and i did my clinical subjects from dbmci in, in the third and the final year i also did anatomy by dr ashwini and i realized the conceptual aspects that he bring to a subject even like anatomy 
I especially enjoyed Jay sir's surgery lectures and Thameem sir's medicine lectures. I also enjoyed the uh, radiology taught by Dr. Rajat Jain sir. Anu ma'am's constant motivational supports and messages also helped me to be consistent in my preparation, especially during the COVID lockdown. She was always supportive and was ready to provide all the material that I needed, whatever it may be at any stage of my preparation. I was also very happy in uh, learning through the eGurukul app, especially during the COVID lockdown, because it filled the gaps while attending the face-to-face -face lectures. And also I could go back any time to relearn the concept, which I had, I felt that I was slightly weak in. I also gave grand tests on the app and uh, got a glimpse of where I stood and which areas needed more preparation and time. I attended the TNDs from DBMCI in uh, some in the final year and majority in the internship. They helped me keep pathway and a track of uh, what to study in what time duration it needed to be studied so that I don't lose track of time and go haywire. I especially enjoyed Praveen sir's pathology TND and medicine uh, TND by Thameem sir. I am uh, extremely thankful to my family and friends uh, who helped me in achieving this rank. Uh, without their support, this wouldn't have been possible. I am also thankful to, especially to my co-interns for cooperating with me in the uh, internship so that I could get time to study. I am extremely thankful to my family and friends for never putting excess pressure on me. They just let me be whoever, whosoever I wanted to be. They uh, never put any constraints that I have to get what I have what I have set out to be. They just said, be happy in what you are doing, and I uh, and I am extremely grateful for that. Undue pressure I feel can sometimes get into the mindset of a student and end up hampering the preparation. I am extremely thankful for everyone in supporting me in this journey. My message to everyone who wishes to appear in the future exams of these patterns is that you have to be consistent in your preparation. One day study of very high yield stuff followed by 10 days here and there doesn't really help. You need not study to, uh, excessive great amounts, but you have to be consistent in the preparation. That is the key for these exams. It was declared at an erroneous time, uh, much before it was expected to come. And I was extremely happy to see that I had secured a single digit rank again in the NEET exam, just after INI exam. I never expected that I would get a single digit rank in both these exams. But I remember Rajat sir believing in me in the third year itself. He told me that I will get a single digit rank in these exams and that has proved to be true.